Hi guys, this is David from Excelavation, the Excel learning channel. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to identify duplicated records. Excel natively is very good at removing duplicates. So with my current data, with first name, last name, and email addresses, I just need to select my data, go to the Data tab, and press the Remove Duplicates command. Checking my data as headers, because it does, and clicking on OK. And just like that, my duplicated records are gone. But I never got to see what was removed. So it's not helping us much. So let's press the Undo button. And let's identify the duplicate records before uh, we remove them. So a duplicated record is uh, a record for which the values are the same across all fields. So that would be first name, last name, and email addresses in my case. So spoiler alert, what I'm highlighting uh, right here, this record on row 5, is duplicated. But I cannot really see it in my data, and my data is uh, lengthy. It's about 8,000 rows of data. So not only do I want to see that the record is duplicated, but I also want to know where in my table. So let's do that. We're going to start the same way. Let's select our data. Let's go to the Data tab again, but this time under Get and Transform Data, we're going to click on From Table Range. It's going to transform my data into a table, and my table has headers, so I need to check the box here. Clicking on OK, and now the data is being imported into Power Query. All right, so this is pretty much the same table, but in the Power Query editor. So again, I want to get the position of my duplicated records. And to do that, I need to insert a column, which will be an index. So in the Power Query editor, in the ribbon on top, let's go to Add Column. And let's expand the menu for Index Column, giving me three options, from 0, from 1, or Custom. So let's think about our table. On row one, I can see my headers. Row two will be my first row of data. Row three will be my second row of data. So with that said, let's select custom. And for the starting index, that will be my first row of data, which is on row two on my Excel spreadsheet. So two, the increment will be one. Each row adds one. Clicking on OK, and now I have a new column giving me the position of each record in my Excel spreadsheet. I'm going to move it to the front of my data, and now we need to identify the duplicated records. And to do so, we need to select all of the columns that we want to use to define what a duplicated record is. So that will be everything except for the index, because the index pretty much creates unique records. So I don't want to select it. So let's select everything else. And from here, let's go back to the Home tab, and let's expand the menu Keep Rows. We're going to choose Keep Duplicates. We are almost done. So now we can see duplicated records, but they are not necessarily sorted. So Alicia is good to go. It's the first two records. But for Millet, for example, uh, it's between no other records. So I need to sort my data to make it easier to read. To do so, we're going to choose the email address, uh, which will be a, a good way to uh, sort the data. And in the Home menu, under Sort, A to Z. All right, so now everything now is sorted nicely. I can see that three records are duplicated, and I can see the positions uh, in my table. Last but not least, let's bring back the data uh, to Excel. Let's click on Close and Load. It's adding a new tab on my Excel spreadsheet with my data. So for instance, for Alicia, I have two records on row 5 and row 62. So let's check. So row 5 here, that's the row here, row 5. Scrolling down to see row 62, and here is the second record. 
So that's how you identify duplicated records in Excel going through Power Query. That's it for today. I hope it was helpful. If it was, uh, please like the video and feel free to subscribe to the channel to get more tips and tricks. Thanks for watching.